Family, peace, peace, peace. Let me tell you something, okay? You know, I was um, just listening to Dolores Cannon um, on progression and manifestation. And it was an exercise that she was telling pretty much the audience to do. And that was to time travel, okay? See yourself in the future as living a life as you desire, right? And I started thinking, and I came across this memory of mine when I was in this all-girls home. So if some of you guys don't know my backstory, honey, you need to go and watch my videos, um, like my early on videos, because I talk to you guys, you know, about my backstory, you know, my life growing up, you know, um, being in the all-girls home because of criminal activity, okay? And I remember I was in this all girls home. And one of the things I'm going to say is this. Everything that we tend to go through in life never feel like, dang, it was just useless. Like I experienced all this stuff. It was just useless. You know, it, it, it was no point, you know. And, and, and sometimes people get so caught up in the past that they start reliving it and it's really really sad because you know you're a whole creator and you have the ability to create whatever life of your choosing okay and I was thinking about the time when I was in you know the, the program the program it was called um Dead Rock Steer Haven in Chester New Jersey um they closed it down now they turned it into something else but it was like, you know, pretty much a program where it's though for troubled troubled kids or kids that didn't have anywhere to go, um, you know, sort of things like that. And I remember they, we had this school. It, it almost put you in the mind of a college campus, but a campus for younger children because we had like different, um, so to speak, dorms, okay? Like, you know, it would be cold pepper. Um, um, Terrell, you know, I remember these as, as so clear and vividly and everything that the universe, you know, I'm so, I'm just so grateful and thankful for my life because everything that I have gone through and you should feel the same as that way, everything that you have gone through, it made you the person that you are today. And don't keep allowing yourself to keep on repaying for those mistakes that you have made in the past, for those things that you have done, okay? A great book. I highly recommend. You guys know I'm always recommending books, okay? A great book. Actually, two books, okay? The Prosperity Bible, because it has so many phenomenal authors in there like napoleon hill james allen wallace d wallers florence shen um charles hanu okay um that book and then also um the power of the subconscious mind by dr joseph murphy that book is by far my number one favorite read but don't keep making yourself pay for things that you have done in the past okay you done it that's it let the dead bury the dead i remember hearing you know when i was a kid i would hear that you know let the dead bury the dead right but i remember when i was in the um the program and we would go to school each and every morning right and one of the girls who was also you know me and her was was it was kind of close because she was from the same exact city and you know we did a few things we was we wandered up in a few places together okay that was the youth house okay that was one and then um we wandered up in you know this program this all girls program and um she since passed on okay um and i remember the the, the, the teacher of the class and I guess he was probably into personal development, manifestation or something, because this was the first time I ever heard anybody say do this. And it's pretty much time travel. And he said, look at yourself, you know, five years from now. And where do you see yourself at? And I remember this time, at that time, um, the, the Escalades, the cars, okay. They was, you want to say hello? Hello. 
Hey, don't talk like that. That's not how you talk. Show them how you really talk up in here. Hello. Okay, so that's my youngest daughter, Amani. And and then J- Javon, Javon want to get up in here. Okay. Oh, we party. <laughs> All right. So I, re- I remember the guy, he said, um, you know, time travel and see yourself as being that person that you desire to be. Now, I don't know if he said desire, um, but he said, you know, go into the future, time travel. And I remember I just was like, oh, I'm going to have an Escalade. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have an Escalade. I'm going to have this. And, you know, at that time, I was I was definitely a person that cared about what other people thought of me. I was definitely, like, really into ego. Like, honey, just full-blown into ego. And everything, I remember even when I got into the program, I remember when I first got there, I was so materialistic, honey. Um, and I was young. I, I think I was about 13 when I got there. Um, and it was it was the scariest thing in my life to go there. But it was the most magnificent, beautiful thing that I had experienced. The most growth that I had experienced. Okay. It's so funny because sometimes we say, I don't need this thing. You know? And... My father passed away when I was in there. And what wound up happening was, so I went there because I didn't have anywhere else to go. Okay, so I went there. And I remember when I got there, I was just so materialized. Okay, I was in there saying, like, you guys ain't got Tim's, honey. And and although the Tim's that I had, honey, they was raggedy, okay. But I was like, so it, everything was based upon what you had. You know, I, I was really materialized things. And and although I felt that way, it was so funny because I felt that way, but I still felt like I wasn't good enough. I still felt like I was incomplete. I still felt like, you know, um, that I had to be liked. I had to do things in order to be liked. And, and you know, to the person that's out there watching this video, let me tell you something, okay? Like yourself. Because that's what counts. That's what matters. Okay? And I want you to guys, I want you guys to do this assignment. I'm always saying, listen, my videos, they're not just about me talking. And the things that I ask, ask you guys to do, I'm doing it too. Okay? It's, it's never something that I'm telling you guys to do that I don't do it. All right? Everything that I tell you guys... You know, I write my goals down each and every day. I showed you guys, you know, our gratitude. And you want to start doing things differently in order for you to have a different life. You are a whole creator that came here to create the life of your choosing, the life that you actually desire to live. You did not come here to play mediocre. You did not come here to live to be a prisoner in someone else's or in your own reality. You came here to live a beautiful, amazing life. And the only way that you are going to start living that life, if you start believing, if you start working with these powers, okay, that are here to assist you. And when I first heard about all of this, I just was like, oh my goodness, this is so amazing. Because so many people don't accomplish what it is that they desire to accomplish. Because one, they don't believe. Okay? And then two, it's like, you know, they give up. I want you to keep on going, to keep on growing. And life is about growth. Life is about you growing like the flower okay and with that being said i love you guys keep rocking out believing in yourselves write down the person you envision yourself to be i do that you know and i go over this two times a day in the morning time first time when i wake up first thing in the morning and then before i go to sleep i read it okay see yourself as living where you desire to live Write it down, write it down, because without you writing it down, it's just a mere dream, okay? So you want to write it down, put it into words. 
see yourself as the person you desire to be, living where you desire to live, driving what you desire to drive, okay, going on vacations to places that you desire to vacation, the amount of money, you just saying, oh, I want money, that's just bland, basic, and you're not putting your request into the universe correctly because having more money, it could be you walking down the street and you see $10, that's more money, okay? So you want to be very detail-oriented as possible. And like I said in my previous video, it is you putting an order in, you know? If you put an order into a salad bar, okay, you know, what's the name of the salad restaurant? I'm, I'm trying to think, but say if you go to a salad rest, a, a, a restaurant, Okay, they sell sa salads and stuff. And when you go to, you, you're not going to just call them and say, all right, well, I would like a salad. You know, they're going to ask you, all right, well, what type of salad? Okay. And then you be you become very detail-oriented. But suppose you just say, I want a salad, and then they bring it to your house. And they got onions in there. You're like, I don't eat onions. They got nuts in there. <laughs> Honey, these are the things I eat. And then you're like, I don't eat nuts. You know, it, it got peppers in there, banana pepper. I love me some banana peppers, just FYI, okay, just in case you want to get me a salad, honey. Um, but it got all these things in there, and you're like, I don't eat this. Well, why wasn't you detail-oriented? Why didn't you put your request in properly? We have not been taught this, and that's why so many people, they don't do it. You know, if you ask the average person, what I can do this because it works. Ask the average person that you come across, ask them what is it that they want from life. Okay. I guarantee you, they will tell you the things that they don't want because we've been programmed to focus on what we don't want as opposed to focusing on what we do want. And with that being said, I love you guys. I catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Rock out. Do the exercise. Okay, and let me know some of your desires, where you see yourself at in five years, three years, one year, six months, okay, two weeks from now. What are you going to do to change your life? Remember, there's powers that be, okay, and there's laws in this here universe that are here to assist you.